Okay, guys, today for Throwback Thursday, what we have for you is uh, Jason talking a little bit about differential and how it makes a difference on your plane uh, when you're flying. So it's a, it's a relatively short, quick little uh, answer video, but uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Here it is. All right. To answer the question on aileron differential, we basically need to talk about what it's for. Basically what we're doing is we're adjusting the amount of throw of the ailerons up and down to make them to where the plane will roll on an axial line. So. To test for aileron differential, the best thing to do is start out flying a straight and level line going straight away from you. Pull to a 45 degree angle and basically peg the ailerons all the way over. What you're looking for is the plane to actually change heading as it rolls. So what we found with our test plane today was when we rolled right, the plane turned left. And when we rolled left, the plane turned right, meaning we had too much up aileron in the roll. So the way we fixed our aileron differential was going into the differential programming in our 12X, and we actually held the aileron over and adjusted the differential percentage until we were getting less up aileron in, in either direction. Then we took off and tested. So we started out at about 7%, and we noticed on the first 45 that it was still turning a little bit to the left when rolling right and the opposite when rolling left. So then we brought the plane down, we actually increased the percentage, and we ended up at about 20%. You'll find every plane's a little bit different, it's just something you need to tweak until you can pull 45, start rolling and the plane goes dead straight and just arcs towards the earth instead of veering either direction. Hope this tip helps you out. So here we go. Left aileron, right rudder. Think about it. Next is down. Okay, we know we just gave right rudder, so the next is going to be left. Boom. Right, left rudder. Right, down elevator. Right, right rudder. 